President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. Okay. Yep. All right, so this will be officially recorded, and this will be the, um, well, this is not working, right? Hold on. Okay, now you can see me. All right, so anyway, Frank, uh, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, yourself? So? Doing all right. Uh, sorry to keep you, you know, for so long, it's... Like I said earlier, technical difficulties, uh, but everything's good to go. So, no, I brought you on the show, man, because, uh, you know, all my life, for the large majority, everybody was joking about me starting a, a political show, and um, now I am. So, uh, with that being said, actually, I'm still not ready, because I still show you as a small person, me as a big person. I want you to meet the big one. Hold on. <laughs> Um, alright, right, there we go. Alright. Okay. Cool, cool. Alright, so one, two, three. This is official. Alright, how you doing? <laughs> so, um, anyway, thank you for joining the program. <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> this is, uh, is this the first interview? Yeah. Well, what's going on is, um, this has, uh, basically, the way I'm recording it right now, I don't actually hear myself in the background. <laughs> uh, that might have something to do with uh, the speaker, speakerphone, maybe? Are you on speakerphone? Yeah. Oh, hey, that, I, th that, that works a lot better. I, I can't hear myself now, so that's good. So whatever you did worked. I, I don't know what you did. Okay, so, um, all right, so we'll start the whole thing now. But anyway, this whole thing that I'm doing is I'm interviewing people, um, and then I have a video program that I'm actually editing things in place and putting music and, and all that stuff. So this is just a recorded segment part of the show. Um, so anyway, so I will begin. Um, again, uh, Matt, thanks for joining. Uh, to everybody watching, whoever that may be on this YouTube channel that I'm starting, uh, my whole life everybody said, you know, Ryan, you should do a political show, you should do this. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to put my mouth to my actions, even though I actually did it in college. But, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of turmoil out there. There's a lot of, uh, I mean, it's it's sad, actually. Um, it's, it's nothing that I'm sure you or me is proud of. Uh, just people are just confused. Um, or, yeah. or presumptuous, or, or what I call um, opportunist. There's a lot of opportunists out there that um, overshadow people's uh, actual political views and use it as an opportunity to write and steal and exploit things. And you know, um, there's nothing wrong with having a discussion with someone such as yourself that you actually believe in what you believe in. What is wrong is people okay. that overshadow that and you know. Um, like I said, they're opportunists. But I brought you on the show because I've been following it since probably since his inauguration. Um, but based on what I've read before the inauguration, there like I said, there is talk about him possibly getting funds for what I was at, what I, where I moved into from, which was me out on the street, or at least struggling more than I have Frank, to. Frank, I don't think anybody's going to put you out on the street, man. I, I don't think he's after you. Like I said, he's after he's after the uh, other division. I don't think he's after you. Or The program's in place. We all pay for it. It's not going away. He's not going to kick out elderly people. He's not going to kick out people that are terminally ill. He's not going to kick out people that are disabled. He's not going to kick out any of those kind of people. I think it's mainly what he's trying to get through, which it hasn't even happened, by the way. This is all just speculation and rhetoric, uh, you know, mind you. Uh, I, I, really think, I really think it's against people that are 
uh, like I said, using the system, such as people crossing the borders using our money illegally, um, and they're not even citizens, yeah. and they're taking away money from you. I mean, you're a citizen. Uh, that money set aside yeah. specifically to help people with special needs or that are terminally ill or to bridge the gap between one job to another job. Um, have to allow moderate Muslims or refugees into the United States. Oh, I'm, I'm, so not, they saying, can... oh, I'm not saying completely stop refugees. I'm saying stop the program for now and come up with a better, you know, like Trump would say, a better vet, vetting process, a better screening process, because these people that are coming to these other countries aren't being screened very well. There's nothing wrong with accepting refugees, but a mass flow of refugees all at once where you're like, we don't know who these people are, where they're coming from. I think the whole ban was is to put a stop on that and reevaluate the situation to come with a better vetting program to allow these refugees to come here in a more uh, logical yeah. way. Well, I mean, and as far as uh, whether or not it was a security risk, I mean, yeah, I know they were, those seven countries were placed on countries that were subset, uh, vulnerable to terrorism, but. The, the countries that inflicted the most casualties on U.S. soil were from countries that were not included in that ban. Exactly, and that's very true. But what they're talking about is those countries that put on the ban don't vet the people that come in there. Most recently, due to the refugee program, what the ban is saying is not these people, these countries have attacked us in recent history. They're saying that these countries are vulnerable to refugees and immigrants flooding into their country as a scapegoat, lack, for lack of better words, to come here, is what I'm saying. You're saying they're faking people? Because the visa includes I'm countries. Saying, I'm, I'm saying these people, such as Iran and you know these other uh, Syria. You know, I, I mean these other countries that are on this list. I'm saying they they weren't put on there because they necessarily attacked us. They put it on there because they have a horrible immigration vetting problem, refugee problem flooding into their country, which then can come to us. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Something wrong.